Hello, Vinyl Community. It's Greg from Three Dimensions of Music. I'm putting out a uh, video to share with you some of the new CDs, a CD box set I found, and uh, a couple of albums. And I'll, I'll start off with uh, a couple, uh, to me, it was a pretty great find. Jerry Garcia sings the songs of Bob Dylan. Uh, this is a two disc set, still has a booklet. And, of course, it's CD, so it's not like you, you can say, well, it's in great shape like you can albums, but it's actually in pretty decent shape as far as uh, um, the uh, condition of it. There's two CDs, and it has a lot of great songs that he does with Bob Dylan. And this is kind of rare. There's not a lot of these around. It's made by Rhino Productions. It sounds really good. Jerry Garcia. Next one, same guy, had these two box sets sitting there, and that one I got for six bucks. This one, I got two for twelve bucks, so this one's a three CD set of the Grateful Dead. Shout out to the Happy Hippie in Tennessee, my man Rod. I always think of him when I think of Grateful Dead. This is volume 15, uh, recorded live at the Nashville, I'm reading. Recorded live at the Nashville Municipal Auditorium in Nashville, Tennessee, April 22nd, 1978. Uh, I was only two years out of high school. I was still in boot camp. So there you go. Uh, a lot of great songs. The recording, uh, I would say, now this is, like, I guess, Dave's pick. So this is volume 15. I don't know how many volumes, are, volumes there are. I know there's a lot. But hey, for six bucks, and this guy told me that... Uh, he uh, has a lot of Grateful Dead, and he told me he was going to be back. But I didn't make it back to the flea market last week because I had some uh, uh, favors to do for my, my kids. Uh, next one I got was pretty cool, and this was also from the same guy. Alligator Records 30th Anniversary Collection. Uh, it's a two-record set of uh, blues. Alligator Records, Alligator, Alligator Records is known for blues. A lot of different uh, blues artists. On this. The uh, second disc uh, on the stage, Lonnie Brooks, Luther Allison, Albert Collins and the Icebreakers, Alvin Bishop, uh, Delbert McClinton, Lonnie Mack, Hound Dog Taylor, and the House Rockers. That's pretty cool. So that's the 30th anniversary. And what's cool about this Alligator Record, Alligator Records, say that three times, 30th anniversary. I also have the 20th anniversary. And the 25th anniversary. I find these once in a while as I'm going around. Now the, the last two, the last two were uh, probably, I have, have had these several years. I actually picked up an extra one of these for a buck at a uh, sale a while back. So I have one sitting there uh, waiting to be bequeathed or sold. And finally, uh, well no not finally really, this one here, Pink Floyd. No cover on the CD, except for the back, and as you can see, that looks kind of weird, a little bit. But this was uh, a buck, and it's made in Japan, so that was pretty cool. Sounds good. Uh, not as, not what I expected. Though. I thought it was going to be mind blowing, but it sounded clean. It's CD, but made in Japan. And I want to turn it down for a buck. Um, this one's uh, Gary Burton and Friends. This was a very nice CD. I like. I really like this. Gary Burton plays Vibes. And he's got uh, Peter Erskine in drums, John Schofield on guitar. And every anytime I see John Schofield, I snap him up. I love John Schofield on guitar. He has a lot of great stuff. This was a promo for a buck. Pretty neat. Gary Burton and Friends. And I was playing this the other day, and my wife was walking through the room. She goes, what is that? I like that. And I'm like, wow. She likes, I was thinking of uh, Steve. Uh, uh, Steve was talking about his wife. Wanting to hear a record, and I was just watching his uh, video, uh, Steve Carlson. Uh, shameless plug, Steve Carlson. Anyways, he, his wife wanted to hear a record he bought, and I thought that was kind of funny because he, he had that look in his face like, huh? And that's kind of how I look when she said, who's that? And I said, that's Gary Burton. Didn't really mean nothing to her, but I like Gary Burton. He's with Pat, Pat Metheny. Uh, I like what he does with Pat Metheny. This was actually better than I thought it would be for a buck, Crash Test Dummies. Um, I think uh, George's uh, albums and CDs, I watched his uh, channel one time and 
I think he commented that he kind of liked the crash test dummies. So I came along one of these, and this one's called uh, Crash Test Dummies God, Sh God Shuffled His Feet. An odd name for a uh, CD. There is a story behind that. But uh, this was actually a, a pretty good, I mean, that was pretty good music. So I liked it. Um, lastly, and this is going to be one of those uh, uh, going out and reaching and trying something new for me. This is uh, Outcast, uh, Stan Konya. It, it's missing the top two, but it's basically, uh, gang, uh, I don't think it's gangster rap, but I think it's uh, uh, hip hop, stuff like that. So uh, in the right frame of mind, I think I could dig it. These guys are pretty good. This, this album, uh, I checked it out, and it, it sounds like it was very, very popular. So I'm going to check that one out. And lastly, this was a pretty good find in a church sale last week. Uh, we got there a little late, maybe an hour late after they opened, and there was a few CDs there. But this was laying there, like, untouched. Nobody really picked it up, I guess. It was on sale for 8 bucks. So I figured I'd like CD box sets like this, long boxes. I have a few. Uh, probably about, uh, maybe about 10 now. Uh, but this is a uh, three, no, four CD set. Laid out really nice. Uh, Bruce Springsteen when he was younger. And there's also a nice booklet in the middle here. There's old uh, Bruce himself, as you can see, uh, reclining. And then there's the other CD. And it looks like it's chronologically, um, I'm, I'm looking at it instead of showing you guys. It's a chronologically spread out CD set, like an anthology. But I thought, hey, that's, uh, that's a pretty nice find. I, I've kind of gotten into Springsteen in the last few years, and I picked up a few of his uh, CDs uh, last few weeks. I've showed some on some of my other CD showings, but so I picked this one up for eight bucks. Um, one more CD set. I don't know if you guys will find this interesting or not. Uh, this is called The Big Old Box of New Orleans. Uh, this is actually a very nice box set that I got for one dollar at the flea market. And it was funny because Brenda now, my wife, she uh, enables me, as it were. She finds these things, and I don't even see them. I'll walk past it three times, and she'll find it right away. She saw this on the ground. She thought it was a book. And it turned out to be the book still in there. A lot of history about New Orleans, uh, jazz, and uh, the New Orleans uh, scene music. Very nice booklet glossy and then there is four CDs in this box set they were all there they were all like brand new hardly I bet whoever had this didn't really even open it up and play it very much but I have played it it's a, like a lot of uh, Zyde, like I have some buckwheat Zydeco Zydeco, Zydeco buckwheat Zydeco um, stuff like that uh, you got some harmonicas you got a lot of uh, squeeze boxes and stuff uh, accordions accordion music. A lot of good music on this. There's a uh, kind of let you peruse it. See, I don't recognize very many, honestly, of who's on here except for maybe the Neville Brothers. But uh, it's, a, it's a great history of New Orleans jazz that was uh, had by me. As far as records go, first one I could share, I got it for Goodwill, 79 cents, Pure Perry League, busted out. It was in relatively good shape. I don't have any Pure Perry League. So then I, I think this was a good one to start with. The record itself, RCA Victor. I had to clean it, but it is in relatively good shape. No scratches. I don't like to buy them when they're scratched up. I have too many to listen to, really, to uh, accept it. The next one I got uh, was from Walmart. I went, we went to visit Walmart, and this was on sale. It is a... Uh, 50, metal, 50 Heavy Metal Years of Music by Judas Priest. And I, the thing I liked about this, I'd never seen this before, but it's 15 bucks off. So it's 20 bucks for two records of all this music. Judas Priest. It looked pretty cool. First Judas Priest as far as records in my collection. I think I have a CD or two, Greatest Hits and stuff. But this is a, a lot of live stuff on here too. Bloodstone. A lot of you guys who know Judas Priest, if I read these off, uh, Sinner, Live, Beyond the Realms of Death, The Ripper, Bloodstone, 
a lot of live stuff on here and it was, uh, looks like uh, two rec uh, maybe one and a half of uh, studio stuff so I thought that was a pretty cool find for 15 bucks off from Walmart don't get too excited about that these two were I think great finds I've seen uh, Patrick the vinyl archivist I watch his channel too and he loves these guys the captain beyond and I found these two in really good shape no not, they just need it cleaned up this one's called sufficiently breathless and this one is uh, it's psych I believe it's considered psych music and this is the captain beyond I don't know exactly the name of it I think it's just the the actual band themselves captain beyond it's got a lint almost like a, a a cover where if you turn it a certain way uh, different co the colors kind of glisten let me see if I can take it out and make it happen for you I think I got a little, little sunshine you can see kind of a neat cover but anyways that was a kind of a, a pretty neat find for those two together Captain Beyond and I think a couple more here these are pretty common stuff. Jeff Beck wired, pretty good shape. Demonstration not for sale, which is kind of neat. I already have this one, so this will be a uh, VCLT to somebody someday. One of his best records, I think. Jeff Beck, real, real good, real good guitarist, real favorite of mine. Uh, I did get a uh, complete. It almost is a complete set of this is all from Goodwill Don McLean Believers and this looks like a self self-titled Don McLean I believe this is Don McLean yeah it is called Homeless Brothers Tapestry and then of course American Pie these are all together I, will, I went in the same, I just, I don't normally have, uh, I, I think I got this one and a, uh, a bunch of, also, I might as well throw these into the, show them to you guys. Let's see. We all know this guy. At least should anyways. Let's see if I can lift them up here. Look at that mug. James Taylor. So these were all in the same thing. It looked like somebody gave up a lot of their, their folk music. This being James Taylor. Uh, JT it's called, I guess. Uh, nice portrait of him. And this one here. One Man Dog. And this would be Gorilla, James Taylor. These were all Goodwill finds. 79 cents in very good shape. This is I didn't I wasn't sure who this was at first, but of course it's James Taylor. And then I think I had one more. If I put it in here or not. I have Sweet Baby James. I guess it's in my collection. But that's the only James Taylor I had was Sweet Baby James, which is everybody knows that one. So I kind of filled up on uh, James Taylor and uh, Don McLean, which was pretty cool. Now the Captain Beyond records were not from Goodwill. Uh, they were from a private person uh, way back. Uh, he was selling some of his collection out of his uh, out of his house. It, he used to be a uh, uh, DJ, and uh, actually he had passed away. And his mother allowed me to go through some of the records that were still in the house. And I, I didn't even know who Captain Beyond was, but uh, I thought that these were actually. Two pretty cool finds that I'd like to share with you. Other than that, that's it, guys, for today. I appreciate your checking me out. I appreciate the comments. Big shout out to uh, uh, the goat uh, in Indiana, and also uh, 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 why do I draw a blank when I'm, I'm, I'm? Of course, I think of Steve Carlson and Steve Bender, and then uh, my friend Brian up in Canada, uh, embryonic robot. I just want to say hi to all you guys. I appreciate your support and your comments. And uh, once in a while, I hear from some other uh, some guys, and I really appreciate it. I think Jeff Witcher sent me a text one time or a comment. All those are comments are appreciated. Uh, it shows me that you guys are watching and uh, caring. Thanks, guys.